Good evening everyone. This is Urishali. In previous sessions we discussed about recoverable and non-recoverable schedule with solve examples. I have mentioned complete database management system playlist link in below description box. Now in this session we will learn about the next important point that is cascading and cascadeless schedules with example. Let's start the session. In this channel you will get a complete point wise easy explanation practical demo and question bank of following subjects. Please like and share these videos with your friends and subscribe the channel. So you will get the notification regarding my new upcoming and new part of these videos. Now the first point is what exactly schedule. Schedule means collections of transactions. In DBMS in transaction schedule can be divided into the two parts serial and non-serial schedule. These things we already discussed in part one. Now non-serial schedule can be divided into the two parts like serializable and non-serializable. Serializable schedule again divided into the two parts conflict and view serializable. So we already discussed serializable and conflict serializable in part 2 and view serializable in part 3. Now this non-serializable schedule can be divided into the two parts like recoverable and non-recoverable. These things we already discussed in part 4 with solve examples. Now in today's session we will discuss about recoverable and their types like cascading and cascadeless schedule. So these all schedules will be important for your university exam as well as gate exam purpose. All these examples and all these solve problems will be asked in your exam. Now the first point is what exactly recoverable schedule. See schedule means collections of transactions like suppose t1 transaction t2 and t3 t2 transaction is depend on t1 t3 transaction again depend on t2 and suppose t1 transaction get fail so at that time all the other dependent transaction also fail so at that time you need to perform the rollback operation and use atomicity property means either transaction completed successfully or transaction getting fail this is called as recoverable schedule now this recoverable schedule can be divided into the three parts cascading schedule, cascadeless schedule and strict schedule. So let's see all these types one by one. The first type is cascading schedule. What exactly, exactly this is? See, if there is a one transaction is fail, now all the other dependent transaction also fail or roll back the transaction. Means either transaction completed successfully or aborted. This is called as cascading schedule, which is also known as cascading rollback and cascading abort. So let's understand this term with examples. See here, in this particular schedule, there are total four transactions, T1, T2, T3 and T4. Here, T1 first read value of A from the database, that is A equal to 100. And they perform the operation A is equal to A minus 50, that is 100 minus 50 equal to 50 and the write a value updated value that is a equal to 50 into the buffer memory. So after t1 there is t2. t2 is depend on t1 they read a value which is written by t1 and they read a equal to 50. Now t3. t3 read the value of a which is written by t2 and they read a equal to 50 and t4 read value which is written by t3 that is a equal to 50. So here T2 is depend on T1, T3 depend on T2 and T4 depend on T3 and they take a value of A and perform the further operation. Right. Now after this suppose this T1 transaction have fail. After transaction fail they roll back the transaction. Roll back means when transaction fail before commit so they roll back means again start from the first step. They again start from read of A. This is called as rollback. Now what happened here? T1 transaction getting fail. In database A equal to 100 value is as it is. That never change. Right? Because T1 transaction have fail before commit. Now here in T2, T3 and T4. They use value of A equal to 50. Okay. A equal to 50 for performing further operations. But this A equal to 50 doesn't present in database. Right? In database A equal to 100 have stored. 
सो दिस इज कॉल्ड एज डर्टी रीड वैल्यू और डर्टी रीड प्रॉब्लम मीन्स वैल्यू डिडंट स्टोर इन डेटा बेस स्टील दे यूज ए इक्वल टू फिफ्टी फॉर परफॉर्मिंग द फर्दर ऑपरेशन सो एट दैट टाइम टी वन ट्रांजेक्शन इज फेल दैट्स वाई टी टू ट्रांजेक्शन ऑल्सो फेल T3 depend on T2, T3 transaction also fail and T4 transaction also fail. This is called as cascading schedule. Now, this problem have solved by the cascade less schedule. Now, see here. This is a cascade less schedule. The property of cascade less schedule is the another transaction read the data item which is written by the transaction only after commit step. this is a property let's understand with the example see here there are total four transaction t1 t2 t3 and t4 first t1 read the value of a from the database that is a equal to 100 then they perform the operation a is equal to a minus 50 100 minus 50 equal to 50 so they write off a that is a equal to 50 and after that they perform the commit operation commit means this updated value have permanently stored in database right and now only after commit another transaction read the value this is called as cascade less schedule because after commit means this data have permanently stored in database now all the another transaction use those value so t2 read a value that is a equal to 50 and perform the further operation similarly t3 and t4 also read a value with one another that is a equal to 50 and perform the further operation right so this is called as cascade less schedule this transaction never get fail and always perform read operation after the commit only clear now again in cascade less schedule also have some problem occur what exact the problem is see here here after commit read operation is perform not a write operation see here in this example suppose in schedule there are two transaction t1 and t2 and here read of a they read the data value from the database a equal to 100 perform the operation a is equal to a minus 50 that is 100 minus 50 equal to 50 and they write off a into the buffer memory similarly along with that t2 also perform read of a before write off a of t1 okay means they read data from the database that is a equal to 100 so they read also 100 value 100 minus 70 equal to 30. So write off a equal to 30 now, right? So after t2, this t1 transaction getting fail. Okay. So after fail, it roll back the transaction. Roll back means start from the first operation again. Now what happen? In database, a equal to 100 value stored as it is because t1 transaction have fail. But now in t2, t2 again read the same value. that is 100 and perform the operation that is a equal to 30 and they commit the operation but in database a equal to 100 value already stored that's why this a equal to 30 value does not reflect with another means this value didn't stored in database that's why this transaction also fail right so this is called as lost updation problem means this a equal to 30 information have lost this is also called as right right problem or lost updation problem and this problem have solved by the next type of schedule that is strict schedule so this is all about cascading cascade less schedule cascading schedule take more cpu time because multiple transaction perform at the same time when fail have occurred and cascade less schedule it saves the cpu time because it works only after the commit clear so this is all about this thank you keep learning